The history of the fossil rim area dates back millions of years. As a matter of fact, a relatively rugged expanse of limestones, sandstones, and shales that make up this area were laid down in a vast inland sea over 100 million years ago during the Cretaceous, or the age of the dinosaurs. Despite its name, Fossil Rim does not hail from an area that's well known for dinosaur fossils. What it is well known for is dinosaur footprints. And in the bed of the nearby Paluxy River, you can see some. These resistant limestones, which make up the ridges here at Fossil Rim, are from the local Trinity Group limestones that make up the northernmost part of the Texas Hill Country. In these limestones, you can often find invertebrate fossils like mollusks, clams, and even ammonites. In this area, with its combination of rocky hills and broad, grassy valleys, 1,500 acres have been set aside to help preserve and repopulate a number of endangered and threatened species of animal. The road now moves through the bottom of the valley and starts back up the hill past the giraffe barn. Fossil Rim has 10 giraffes on the property, and while most of them are free ranging, it's not unusual to find one or more of them in this area for treatment or study. At any time that you visit Fossil Rim, you may encounter young animals like this two-day-old giraffe. After moving past the giraffe barn, the road moves uphill again and then heads up towards the overlook. At the overlook, you'll find a children's area, a gift shop, restaurant, picnic area, and nature walk. And just past the nature walk is an enclosure that houses red wolves. In addition to this pair, there are more red wolves in Fossil Rim's intensive management area along with the maned wolf and Mexican wolf. Other endangered species housed in this area are the ocelot and the grevy zebra. All of these animals are too sensitive to be in public areas of the wildlife center and are all part of a breeding program here at Fossil Rim. Like I mentioned before, the area is known for dinosaur footprints, and you can see one just outside of the visitor center at the Overlook. This happens to be an Acrocanthosaurus footprint. It was a fierce meat eater that roamed North Texas and Oklahoma during the Lower Cretaceous, between 70 and 100 million years ago. Now, many exhibits like this exist around the Overlook, so walk around and take some of them in while you're here. Oh,